One of the many rheological properties that can be measured with a Montec RPA is the pain effect. The pain effect test is a low amplitude dynamic test performed on filled rubber compounds. The test is essentially a strain sweep where the stress is measured from the elastic modulus, or G prime. Pain effect test data describes the stress strain behavior of a filled rubber compound, specifically the strength of the filler network. The pain effect is characterized by a drop in storage modulus as the amplitude of the sinusoidal oscillation increases, which reflects a weakening of the filler network. The strength of the filler network comes from the van der Waals force in the case of compounds with carbon black filler, or hydrogen bonds in the case of compounds with silica filler. Filler networks are held together by either or both, depending on the compound. The amount of softening that occurs in a compound from increased strain can be attributed to mixing conditions, the composition of a compound, the colloidal particle characteristics of the fillers in the compound, or in some cases, reactions that occur between fillers during mixing. Pain effect tests are very easy to set up and execute with Montex versatile Mon Control software. The test begins by conditioning the uncured sample in the RPA at 70 degrees Celsius and is oscillated at 0.1 Hz with 0.07% strain for 10 minutes. After conditioning, the strain sweep is performed. During the strain sweep, the frequency of oscillation is increased to 1 Hz, with the strain amplitude increasing in steps throughout the duration of the test from 0.07% to 300% strain, well within the capabilities of Montex DMDR3000 and DRPA3000. After the strain sweep, the resulting data is automatically parsed by Mon Control into a fully customized report. The ASTM requires the following measurements to be reported. G prime max, strain at G prime max, G prime at 0.1, 1, and 10% strain. As the strain increases, the elastic modulus G prime typically decreases. This difference between maximum and minimum elastic modulus is the primary method for quantifying pain effect, called delta G prime. For tire production, a delta G prime value between 350 and 400 kilopascals is an acceptable range for final mixes or between 450 and 500 kilopascals for master batches. Results within this range indicate good filler-filler interaction and silenization. 